Today, we go back to one of our favorite topics, children's books. I am Dr. Mike at Official Pagan on Everything. Joining me as always. Hi, everybody. This is Kelly at K-E-L-L-Y-T-H-U-L on Twitter and Instagram. And if you get a chance, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Bog Panda YouTube channel. Give a few of our videos likes, leave us some comments, rewatch lots and lots and lots of videos, get our watch time up. We need you. We need you. Please help us out uh, on that. And check out our merchandise store uh, as well. A couple of little goodies out there uh, you might be interested in during this holiday season. No soda cup shirt yet, though, right? Not happening. Not happening. Tonight, I'm not drinking soda. I have, and this is not a paid sponsorship. It's just worth mentioning. I am drinking Vanilla Ice's energy drink. So is is that available in America? <laughs> yes. yes it is. Or just Philadelphia? Well, <laughs> I ordered it off of Amazon. But apparently it's in Walmart and things like that as well. So we'll put a link in the description to the Amazon order. And then maybe if any of the uh, bog panda army out there can let us know if they have seen this fine product in there at their local Walmart, that would be great to hear. Um, Sam's maybe too. I don't know. I would think so. Yeah. Same. They're the same company as Walmart. Same parent company. Oh, keep an eye. Yeah, on I ordered us- mine off of Amazon delivered right to my door delicious i'm not an energy drink person and this again this isn't a commercial but it's good that sounds like a commercial (laughs) (laughs) i'm not an energy drink person let's talk about children's books (laughs) kelly are you a dr seuss guy um i am sam i am uh but uh i've always liked uh dr seuss uh, n- not a big fan of the Lorax. I think he's creepy. I have like lots, lots of problems with the Lorax, but most of the rest of the canon I'm okay with. Also, Horton's kind of a wuss, but uh, outside of those, outside of the Lor- Lorax and Horton, I'm I'm good with Seuss. How about you? I'm a Grinch guy. Sure, Grinch guy. I don't mind Cat in the Hat. Um, not the live action ones, obviously. Yeah. But the their their literary counterparts. Yeah, that uh, that might be worth a show at some point. Is reviewing the live action Cat in the Hat, <laughs> where it all went wrong. Oh, yeah. It's like <laughs> oh, it's at the start. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, from the first time you see him in the cat suit. I mean, it's still not Cats the movie, so <laughs> there's that. Yeah, cat-based movies have not done well since Lion King. It's the last strong <laughs> cat-based movie that did well. Yeah, it's for whatever reason, it feels like they haven't cracked that formula, really. But today, we're here to talk one of our favorite topics, which is uh, at Games Pinball. And as we had mentioned previously, there is a Dr. Seuss pack, not one, but two Dr. Seuss packs, as we know now, coming out. And you can pre-order those at a special reduced price for their Black Friday sale. So what did you think, taking a look at some of these early photos and videos of these tables, sir? Uh, game, you know, gameplay looks great. Looks very uh, consistent and uh, in line with what you would expect a Dr. Seuss pinball machine to look like which would be you know very very strange and lots of lots of curves and things kind of going on with it but i was struck how kind of true they were to the spirit of kind of the seuss the seussiverse if you will so i thought they looked really good in terms of staying tight to the ip uh playability wise it looked uh it looked pretty pretty good as well i've really not you know, at games has been doing a good job with their pinball related titles in terms of the packs that I've got to play and those things we've talked about them some some before. Mike has a lot more direct experience on his at games mini. So uh, from a just general pinball playability, I think you've been very satisfied. Is that fair? Yeah, very much so. Um, the only issue that I've run into and it's it's my own fault that I haven't gotten around to buying the riser for it. It is a little low. 
the Eck Games pinball, um, just because they're it, it's the same height more or less as the Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet, the Eck Games cabinets, but the joystick area is just a little bit lower, which means the pinball buttons, which are down further, are just a little too low. So you're just kind of a little hunched over when you're playing. And at first it's fine, but when you're playing for a while, you do kind of start to feel it. I am of a certain age <laughs> where that comes into play. And it's too high though to kind of sit there and play it. So I, I just need that that extra inch or two that those risers they sell, the third party risers would give me. Yep. Just need that extra inch or two is t shirt idea that I could turn in, but it wouldn't last. So we won't, <laughs> we won't be doing that one. Um, uh, it's a shame. <laughs> a good t shirt, but it's not going to work out for us. So sorry, folks on that yeah that's my uh experience as well and i was uh speaking of sam's to segue back to our earlier non-commercial commercial um they they have they always carry a decent amount of at game stuff uh the one i'm in bloomington illinois uh and our our local sam's has the uh, the legends ultimate 1.1 version the mini uh, version which is uh, not skinned and Mike's awesome Tetris that he's got it's it's more the traditional at games uh, side art and all those types of types of things they've got those uh, and um, uh, so I went up to kind of look at them side by side and they did have the mini on a riser there that does look like it would be a little more um, a little more playable <laughs> from from that so I think that would be be good but in terms of kind of the, the the physics the beyond the position you kind of get to get into successfully play uh my sense is you've been you you thought they were a good execution for video pinball extremely okay. happy with it yeah because i i was it was really just initially i thought of it as kind of an extra arcade cabinet and temporary band-aid for my missing pinball unit whatever i'd go with it's really taken that pinball spot though i I get so much enjoyment out of play and playability out of the pinball side of that. I really don't feel like I need the legends pinball at this point. Yeah. And the legends pinball is, I mean, it's still not a cheap thing. <laughs> they are again at Sam's running at a hundred dollars off. So it's coming in right now around $630. So it's 730, uh, which is a little better, but it's still, you know, up there with, a lot of the bigger cabinets at, at that point. Uh, and uh, it does, I mean, it looks like you could have a pretty good, uh, pretty good experience just on the mini and that's been your experience. So um, I think that's a, I mean, that's a good way to go. And the minis are, they're clocking in at around three ninety nine now. So yeah, I believe it's three ninety nine. So not too bad uh, in, in terms of that. And it's got the flip screen you can, and you get into that whole at games ecosystem on other things as well. So I think it's a pretty good alternative, and depending on your layout, maybe even a better alternative uh, than the pinball. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, like I said, I, it was a stopgap kind of initially for me, but I can see it really being the alternative that most people would be looking for. Not only is the price point better, you have the rotating monitor so you can play games in something closer to their real aspect ratio. I know some people complain that the vertical games aren't quite correct, because it is a widescreen monitor turned on its side and not a monitor that's the exact aspect ratio. That doesn't bother me though. It's close enough. <clears throat> You're not getting giant bezels and a reduced image like you'd be getting with it in the horizontal mode trying to play a vertical game. So you're getting basically the correct size for it. Um, so it, it, it's great having access to the vertical games and then flipping it around. Um, I don't love turning the monitor it's not it's it's easy i'm not saying that it's difficult but it, it takes a minute or two it's kind of an annoying process it's definitely something where you don't want to lose one of those screws or something like that so it's it's not something that i love doing so it tends to stay vertical and i would say 90 percent of my play is pinball anyway on it so it, it's really not an issue for me that would be the only thing i could see is maybe some people don't love flipping it back and forth, but if it's a part of a game room like I have or something you're adding, like if Kelly were to pick one up, I, I think it's a good addition. And obviously these are IPs that lend themselves to these pinball packs. Yeah. 
absolutely. And yeah, I'm continuing to to struggle a little bit because I was actually sizing up that mini <laughs> significantly. And Sam's going like, okay, so is this this where I want to go? Because of your experience in pinball, and I'd like to have it dedicated. I would rotate the screen and leave it there uh, for vertical gaming and, but mostly pinball. Um, I have uh, found it's you know the so the downside is you know you're using a controller uh, for pinball uh, if you can if you're playing the the Ed games pinball on a core, uh, but then I can can hook it up to my projector where I have a a nice big playing field, <laughs> plenty to see. I'm in really good shape there uh, because on my legends I don't have the rotating screen, so uh, the play field's a, a little tight, uh, a little smaller. It's still a pretty good experience, but because I have a Legends 1.0, uh, I don't have the option to add pinball buttons to the side, which would improve the playability enhancement now. You can go with the gamer, the Ad Games Gamer Pro, uh, and then you would get basically that deck that's portable, and you kind of connect up to your projector, and away you go. Um, that might that might be that, but that's you know I've already got a fight stick. I don't know how many other things I need <laughs> to kind of have have that way. Uh, you know, always want to kind of save space in case the Atari Couchcade makes its way into the household. Uh, so. So yeah, I you know I think the mini still if you're not if you don't have Legends Pinball you don't plan to get Legends Pinball, I do think the mini is a great way and it does really open the door for uh, for options there. Although I would agree with you, it's just from what I've seen, uh, while not overly difficult, it's not you know the it does require some labor to rotate the screen and steps and it's just how often do you want to do that? It, that could probably get a little tiresome after a while. So, but. It's good property. It's, you know, these these are there. You can kind of order them uh, on the Black Friday thing. Do you know, uh, and I'm asking for kind of video scheduling purposes, <laughs> um, is it just going to be Black Friday uh, uh, that uh, that these the, these uh, are on sale for? I think it's a couple of bit? days. I would have to check the, uh, the ad again. But what's, what's good about it is if you are thinking about picking these up, um, and I believe it's a universal pack. So it'll work across whatever Legends platform you have. The earlier pinball packs, you could only get them for like the Legends or the Legends pinball, I believe. Like you had to pick which one it was for, but these are universal packs now. Um, if you are pre-ordering for $30, you can get both packs when you pre-order. So that's seven tables total. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I think uh, so. You had to pull your trigger, pull the trigger on that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think I will too, um, because I just I liked what I saw. Uh, the the Doctor Seuss world's kind of a cool environment to do pinball stuff with. Uh, At Games is really good on their site and helping make sure you're clear. If you have a core, if you have a gamer pro, if you have the one dot the one dot one legends, uh, or the, the pinball, they, they're they're usually pretty good about being clear for these packs. Uh, smart. For them to make them universal because uh you know that that opens the door for me to be interested and if because if they weren't universal um i'm not going to give it to just play it on my legends because that's just not the greatest experience right yeah so i, I like that it's universal i like 30 bucks i'll get you both packs um the main sell for me is actually the grinch because i like the idea of having like seasonal pinball table like that's kind of an interesting thing and it you know something to play specifically around Christmas, but then having the other Dr. Seuss tables, it looks like they'll be fun to play. I like having the different options for pinball. I really don't get bored playing pinball. Like I, I have so many tables and I like switching between the tables. It, it never really gets dull or boring for me. So just having more options is great. Plus, you know, having younger people in the house sometimes, uh, especially the littler ones, that's a good option for them. Like, hey, here's some Dr. Seuss characters that you recognize and that kind of thing. So, Excellent. So you're in the market. If you've got uh, an At Games platform that you can play this stuff on, you ought to probably make sure you get there quick. It's a really good deal now. Uh, pretty exciting. They look good. I just wanted to kind of take a few minutes to let uh, make sure you were aware of it and to talk about it a little bit. Mug Panda. <laughs>